okay, this is part three, and it's a special explication of the problem of the bacterial flagellum. Okay. All right. So, sorry about the interruption there. We realized we'd gone on too long, so we're going to do this separately. So you can just watch, you can just sk skip to this if you're interested in it. So, so yeah, there's been this criticism of Behe's argument from the uh, alleged irreducible complexity of the bacterial flagellar motor, and the, the counter argument was, well, there's this group of parts that are uh, that are plausibly intermediate, a little syringe uh, called the type 3 secretory system. And it is a, a 10, 8 to 10 part protein system that is part of the flagellar motor in some cases, but in some cases operates independently of it. So it was proposed that this was the ancestral form of the bacterial flagellar motor. And what's become clear is that, first of all, that's a terrific criticism, and then it makes Behe's theory very testable. And... Um, which is actually kind of interesting because it's claimed that intelligent design makes no predictions, but a, a clear discriminating prediction came a, a directly out of this criticism. If the, flagell if the type 3 secret uh, secretory system is ancestral to the flagellar motor, then the genes in the type 3 se secretory system, the, the genes that code for building it in isolation of the whole flagellar motor, should be older, not younger, than those of the flagellar motor. Conversely, on the idea that it was intelligently designed and then the type 3 secretory system is a degenerative byproduct of, uh, of degenerative evolution, then the genes for building the flagellar motor as a whole should be older than the genes for building the type 3 secretory system when it's found in isolation. And through a variety of ways of, of assessing the relative age of, of genes, it's become clear that the degenerative, that the intelligent design and then subsequent degenerative evolution is, uh, is, is the correct answer. Um, the prediction of the design hypothesis in this case has, has borne out. The genes of the type 3 secretory system when found in isolation are, um, are younger, not older, than those of the genes, the, than the genes for building the, the entire type 3, or for building the entire bacterial flagellar motor. So A, it shows that there are testable and discriminating predictions that flow from the theory of intelligent design. In this case, it shows that, that uh, Behe had it right, and his critics were, though, uh, right to, to propose the idea. It turned out to be wrong. Okay, let's wrap it up there, because otherwise I'll never manage to get this all uploaded. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm sure there will be questions for you, you on bet. Ricochet. You bet. And I know you'll join Ricochet to discuss them with our members, because I think it's really important that the ideas that people are talking about here receive a wider audience. They're really interesting. That's great. Thanks okay. for having me, Claire. Yeah. Great. All right. Would it, uh, 